Hi guys, it's Richard Butler, Video Community Manager here at Pitchground. In this video, I want to talk about installing Emojix on your website and give you some hints and tips. I'm going to focus on WordPress, but I'm going to show you the other options as well. So, let's get into it. The first thing you need to do is you need to add a website. Now, if you haven't added one already, you go to your name, you go to my account, add a new site. And I'm just going to paste in the site address here, and I'm going to click on Create. Now, it tells me success, add this code to, um, uh, to your website. Don't worry about that, just click on the X there for the moment. Now, very important, you must click on the down arrow and select your new site. Okay, so the first thing is, don't worry about, you need to verify your site ownership. We'll, we'll tackle that uh, just in a few minutes. Now, there's a number of ways that you can integrate uh, Emojix on your website. The first thing is, if you're, if you're using a non-WordPress website, you would copy this code into every single page where you want the Emojix uh, toolbar to appear. If you were using Shopify, you would go here. And the one thing I like about Emojix is that it tells you exactly what to do. So you would go to Online Store, Themes, Actions, Edit Code, and you would paste that in. There's also Zapier, which will allow you to connect with third-party uh, applications. And we will have a look at that in a later video. And then we have API Key, which uh, ties in with WordPress. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download the zip file and I'm brought to wordpress.org. I click on download and that will download. Now let me go to my website. Let me go to plugins and let me say add new plugin. And what I need to do now is I need to click on upload plugin, choose file and then select this file here, the zip file that I've just downloaded. Once I've done that, I click on Install Now. Now what's going to happen is this will install the plugin. It will ask me to activate the plugin. And if I just move myself up here, I will now see that I have an option for Emojix. So I click on Emojix. It says sign up for a free account or do you already have an Emojix account? So I click here. And now again, it guides me and it tells me I must go to Settings and Integrations and get my API key. So if I go back to my dashboard, I go to API key, I generate API key, and I copy it. I go back to my WordPress here, I paste in that API key, and I click on Authenticate. Now, that's everything set up. So, what you would think is, go back to dashboard, and check the ownership button. Now, what this does is, this loads up the site, and it looks for the Emojix code. And in a little while, you will see this error message. So what you do, you panic, you get onto support, you complain. No, <laughs> what you need to do is you need to go back to WordPress. And if you go into inline settings, you need to say that the homepage must have Emojix enabled. Why? Because when you do that check, it loads the homepage. And since this was in disabled, well then it means that it couldn't find it. So go down here. Click on Save Changes, and let's just go back to the dashboard once that's saved, and click on Check Now. Now what's going to happen is, it says, High Five, you are ready to go. So I go back here to my WordPress. Now, the great advantage of having this in WordPress is that you don't need to necessarily log into your dashboard on Emojix.com. Everything can be done from within WordPress. So that's it. That's how easy it is to set it up. In the next video, what I want to show you is how to actually um, set up the widget correctly and start getting feedback.